Hey guys, Trackline here on my sub broke. I just posted a few new macros that all work for the latest update. So I thought I'd make a video for you. I have a link down below if you want to copy and paste the macros. Or if you have the impulse add on, you can come up here, click impulse, and yeah, just choose your modifier. And the macros will go straight to your hotbar. Or go to the access tab and sift through all their macros and they'll go straight to your macro tab. I also have a link down below to all my add ons, my bartender, shadow frames, etc. Everyone always asks, so yeah, all the add-ons and macros you see today, you can find them in the description. I have links for everything for you guys. So the first macro I tested today was a blind mouse over, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals mouse over, harm, exist, no dead, blind. And if you want to switch out spells, just switch them here and here, and leave that semicolon in between. You can put whatever you want in there, shadow step, uh, etc. So how this type of macro works is if you just have a single target with no, but nobody else moused over, it's always going to work on your single target. Uh, so if I want to go cast blind right now, it would work perfectly fine on my single. I wouldn't need them moused over or anything like that. As long as you don't have anyone else moused over, it will work perfectly fine on your single. Uh, more importantly how it works is let's say I'm attacking this guy, my single target, and I want to blind somebody. I can just simply... Uh, mouse over them and blind them just like this So yeah blind your focus uh, Not your focus blind your mouse over rather than blinding your single And of course you don't need a focus or a single target or anything like that You can just simply mouse over people and use blind on them uh, So yeah, it's a really nice macro for like your CC's your interrupts and a lot of your damaging spells depending on your playstyle So yeah, that's the first macro on to the next Next up is a focus shadow step macro, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals focus, exist, no dead shadow step. And just like the last one, switch it here and here. Leave that semicolon. So how this macro works is, let's say I have a single target. Uh, let's just take this guy for instance. This is my single target. It's going to work just perfectly fine on my single target, as long as I don't have a focus target up at all. So I can just come over here and, you know, shadow step my single, just like that. Uh, but let's say I do have a focus, like this dummy. Uh, this is my single, and this is going to be my focus now. On this UI, my focus is here, just so you can see it. As you can see me switching it. So this guy's my focus now, and this is my single. Well, now that I do have a focus, it's always going to go on my focus rather than my single. And I'll show you what that looks like when it comes back up. I also have it for the same exact macro for backstab, just to show you. So as you can see, it's going to uh, shadow step my focus rather than my single, just like that. So, and of course, like if you switch targets real quick, you can do whatever on them. I'm just showing you with backstab because that has no cooldown. So as you can see, or if I can come back over here on my single, just take off your focus and you can do whatever on your single. So I've seen people set up macros like this where... They have all their spells set up like this where they can do whatever they want to their focus when they're up. And then they can just turn off their focus and go back to the single and do whatever they want on them. And I've also seen people set it up where they just have a couple spells for this. For instance, if you use this for like your blind or a shadow step, where you can just have a focus up at all times, have a separate key mind, and then shadow step, go back to your single and, you know, do whatever you want. So yeah, once again, it just depends on your play style. And if you want to uh, get your focus on off people quicker, I have a macro for that. This one right here. And you can just copy and paste that as well. So how this works is if you just have a single, uh, or you just want to put someone on your focus, just simply mouse over them and put them on your focus. You said click it once. And let's say I, want, I have this guy currently on my focus. And I want to switch to this guy. Just simply hover over them and double click. So the good timing, Grant. So as you can see, this is me switching focuses. All I did is double click because it takes them on and off. And of course, if you have a single target or no single target, it doesn't matter. Just simply click at your at your leisure. So yeah, that's how that macro works. And it can do a few other things. I recommend just playing around with it and see if you like it. And yeah, enjoy. And the last macro I tested today was a modifier for Nightblade and Eviscerate, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket modifier alt, Eviscerate, semicolon Nightblade. 
and you can just switch out the alt right here for something like shift or control if you never used a modifier before and what you put before the, before the semicolon is what you modified so as you see here on my key uh, my hotbar is the key bind right here the macro as you can see if I just hit it normally it's going to use my night blade just like this but if I hold down alt and hit the same key bind it's going to be my uh, eviscerate so normal Night blade, night blade, just like that. Hold down Alt and hit the same key. It's a viscery, just like that. So yeah, these modifiers are good for a couple reasons. First, you could save on like interface space. Like right now, if I want to go set my key binds, I wouldn't have to worry about you know as many spells getting in the way of my interface because I have more spells per key bind. And more importantly, say you're really good with like the A key and the S key or some set of keys that you're really good at. Well, you can just set modifier macros to those keys and keys around them instead of trying to get good with keys you're not already good at. So, yeah, you become a little more efficient with your keys by using modifiers like that. All right, guys, well, that's the last uh, macro I made today on my sub rogue. If you want to see more sub rogue macros, just drop a like on the video, and I'll know you enjoyed it. I'll make more for you guys. Have a good one.